Hi, I wanted to explain to you guys how this semester is going to work with your um, projects for each of the programs. So what we're going to be doing is every program that we'll go over, you will have a project to do for that program, and then those programs will all be combined into one multimedia project for your final project. So I wanted to get you an idea of how this was going to work and kind of give you my example. That way you can start thinking about these things and coming up with your plan since all of them do have to tie together. So for my idea is um, you're going to create an animation at the end of all of this. So my idea is to have a child's dream turn into reality through um, a teddy bear and a baby doll. OK, so I'm going to down my screen. So for the first program, your photo editor program where we are using Photoshop and you're going to take a either a hand drawing or a coloring book and you're going to um, turn it into a character that you're going to use and you can do one character. You can do multiple for mine. I did multiple. You can start off with a hand drawing or a cartoon page. You'll find all the requirements that you're going to need in the, each module. So the, this is the first step. So you need to know who your characters are going to be in your final animation. The second step is we're going to go into Illustrator for our vector graphics module, and you're going to create a location for your characters. So I wanted mine in the bedroom so the child will be sleeping and the teddy bear and the doll will end up sitting on top of the bed and then floating into the dream. For the third part of this, this is when you're really going to have to start kind of coming up with your ideas and getting them out. So you're going to create a storyboard in your layout program, which we're going to use in design. And in this program, then you can um, actually create these little thumbnail sketches either by drawing them or using um, a program to create them in. And you're going to just build up what your timeline is going to look like and kind of get an idea of where your story is going to go. This is not a final draft. This is a rough draft that can change throughout the semester. So if you get a couple programs in and decide that it's not um, going to work or that you want to change it in some way, you can always go back and change this. The fourth program we look at is digital audio and for digital audio, you're going to be creating the soundtrack to go along with it. Then we'll move on to video editing. You're going to have to have some sort of video editing aspect um, to your final animation. For mine, I actually have the bedroom fade out and um, my video play behind it. And so a good chunk of my animation will actually be this video. So you can decide how you want to do it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the entire screen. So let's say if I wanted to do um, have it playing outside of my bedroom, I could have had the video rolling through the window so that you could see what was going on outside, but um, it wouldn't have to take up my entire screen. Then the next program we'll do is visual effects. We're going to be working with After Effects. Um, After Effects is where you're going to actually create the animation. You can see in this um, example that I did not use my video background yet because I wasn't combining it for the final yet. I simply found a nice landscape and I practiced on the animation of the characters. So the characters actually float across the screen for my animation. Then for your final, you're going to take all of those things and you're going to combine them. So you can see over here on the left in my project panel that I have like an illustrator file. I have a video file. I have music files. I have um, JPEG. So all of those things will come into this um, actual program and After Effects and you will put them all together and create that final animation. Part of your final though is that you're going to have to turn in a, um, a completed storyboard. So what you're going to have to do is take that original storyboard, make any updates to it, any changes that you made. I changed a couple of my scenes, so I had to go back and make changes to those and then I changed the wording in them as well. Then you're going to take screenshots of the exact same things that you had done these thumbnails of so you can see the final compared to the original idea. On the back of the storyboard or this last page of the storyboard, you will then have a screenshot of your After Effects window so I can see all of your layers and what you've moved in there. So this is a good thing to just kind of start thinking about now at the beginning of the semester, kind of start um, developing some ideas. This hopefully will um, get you started on the right foot.